substantial. That's the level of coronavirus infection for one day for Tarrant County. According to the county, 444 new COVID-19 infections reported today. That brings Tarrant close to the 9,000 mark with 8,955 known infections. 208 deaths for Tarrant County now, all tied to COVID infection. I spoke with County Judge Glenn Whitley earlier this evening. I would tell you that I think in the past we, you know, just barely over 200 has probably been our high. So this is uh, extremely high for us and uh, uh, discouraging, I'll have to say, at this point in time. There's several things that we have to look at. One, we do have to look at the fact that we've tried to significantly increase the number of tests that we're doing. Uh, I would say also that I think since the governor began to lift some of the restrictions, folks uh, unfortunately have let down their guard, have just said, okay, we're back to normal, and we're not. The judge said he would be consulting with mayors from Fort Worth, Arlington, and other Tarrant County towns to discuss this spike and the possible use of face coverings in terms of requirements. Should there be a required order for businesses similar to Dallas counties. Mr. Whitley says no to an ordinance, but says face masks are key to stem the spread of COVID. We've got to get used to wearing the masks, no matter how we may not like it. I think we've got to do it here um, for, a, 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 you know, until we can see some sort of a, a downturn in some of these numbers. Judge Whitley and Tarrant County Commissioners will meet on Tuesday and discuss this infection spike. Let's talk about Dallas County now, where it was another big day for cases there as well. The county reporting 408 new cases of COVID-19. Believe it or not, that is not a record. The one-day count record for Dallas County, 413. That happened last Wednesday. Two things of note from Dallas County. Nearly half of all of the new cases since June 1st have been diagnosed in young adults between the ages of 18 and 39. And County Judge Clay Jenkins said in the news release this afternoon that Dallas County is seeing the second wave of the virus now. And this was the first full weekend of the county's mask mandate, as we mentioned earlier regarding Dallas County. The masks are required in business settings. And while some owners say it's been difficult, others say that mandate beats a stay-at-home order. I don't see face masks going anywhere anytime soon, but I think as long as we all make an effort to really do it and wear them right now, hopefully in the fall and in the winter, we won't have to and it won't be something we need to worry about. Businesses that violate the Dallas County order could face a fine upwards to $500.